Welcome back to 6 News at 5. Time to take a look at your weather. We're starting off, of course, talking about Harold. Came on shore 11 o'clock noon, right around Corpus Christi and uh, South Padre. As it did so, brought some locally flooding rains to parts of South Texas. A few tornado warnings popped up with some of the wind shear located inside of the storm as well. Center of it is now moving off towards the Rio Grande and will continue to move across into Mexico there. Here I would be a little concerned with the highlands. Maybe you get some flooding and some landslide activity there as the low continues to push off to the west. For us today, though, it meant uh, a lot of cloud cover, and that's good news. And we'll talk about why, because the temperatures could have been back up to 105, 106, 107, but they were not because we lost out on some of that sunshine in the afternoon. Rain now moving parts uh, across parts of the uh, Brazos Valley into parts of Burnett and Llano County there, but that's about it. Didn't really see the rain make it north, even though it made landfall a little bit further north than some of the models were showing yesterday. Not quite far enough north for us to see that beneficial rainfall. So let's take a look at the forecast for the rest of the night. See if we have anything else in store for us. We're going to start at six o'clock, maybe a shower there in Williamson County. Everything pushes off to the west and as it does so, it's really out of here by 8, 9, 10 o'clock, and we don't really have anything to show for it after that. Tomorrow, a little bit more sunshine, a little bit of cloud cover moves in from the southeast. There was some more humid winds moving into the area, but again, more sunshine than we saw today. And again, not a lot of rain activity, maybe the far eastern portions of central Texas, but that's about it. Other than that, today, like I said, with the cloud cover, we stayed right around 100 degrees, which again, our perspectives have definitely shifted this summer. If you stay around 100, that's good news right now. And if you like that, I may have some even more good news towards the end of the seven day forecast. The problem though is with that added humidity tomorrow, it's going to be 101, 102 again, but it's going to feel more like it's 107 in most spots because again, a little bit more moisture in the air tomorrow. However, that moisture is going to lead to the end of that red flag warning we dealt with today. So a little bit less fire danger for today tomorrow. 102, 103, 104, 105 across central Texas. And as we go through our seven day forecast, check this out. 105s Thursday and Friday. Yes, it's going to be hot, but that shifting of that high pressure dome is going to allow for a couple of minimal rain chances and possibly even a little bit of another summertime cold front as we head towards the beginning of next week. And as that happens, we could see an end to the 100 degree streak and we could see more minimal rain chances to start the week. Chris yeah.